good evening, everyone. Uh, this is uh, Kaushal Chari from the University of South Florida. A uh, little bit about myself. Uh, about 35 years back, uh, I was in your shoes uh, 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 trying to uh, figure out a program in the United States for, for graduate school. And uh, I actually uh, got my undergraduate degree in mechanical engineering uh, from IIT Kanpur. And then uh, I came to U.S. in 1984 uh, as, a, as an MBA student at the University of, so uh, University of Iowa. And I finished my MBA and then uh, uh, got a PhD also from University of Iowa. And after that, I have been in academia since then. Uh, I have been at three different universities uh, in, in the, in, in the, uh, as, as a professor. And uh, I have been at USF. Uh, for the last 21 years. I'm at the USF Muma College of Business, uh, where I currently serve as a professor of information systems and decision sciences. And I also am the associate dean uh, for research and professional programs. So that includes all uh, graduate programs, uh, all the master's programs that you are interested in. So that's a brief introduction about myself. So today, uh, what I'm going to do is share with you uh, information on our master's program that is offered at the USF Muma College of Business. So uh, I'm not sure how many of you have uh, know uh, about University of South Florida. Uh, University of South Florida is a fairly young university by US standards. Uh, it's only about 60 plus years old. Uh, same age as the IITs in India. And over these uh, 60 plus years, uh, it has really uh, grown a lot, uh, not only physically in terms of students, but also in reputation as a, a top uh, university in, in the world. Uh, uh, there are a lot of universities in US that are 100, 200, uh, there are 100, 200, 300, 400 years old. So that's why I said it's a relatively young university. Uh, a few things about USF. It's a global research university located in Tampa Bay. So Tampa Bay, as you can see, the star that you see on, on, on the slide, that's where Tampa Bay is located. It's on the uh, west coast of Florida. Uh, right now, the northern part of US is in deep freeze. Uh, temperatures are in, in negatives uh, territory in many places uh, with a uh, uh, lot of snow. And we are having a great uh, uh, weather here. Uh, the, it's like Delhi-like weather, as you, you probably can see the sunlight uh, in the background. So it's a very sunny day here, very nice, very pleasant. So uh, Florida as a location is really great because we don't have extreme weathers like you'll find in, 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 the, in the northern part of United States. Uh, uh, it's Delhi-like weather. And uh, of course, does not have the same level of pollution that you find in Delhi. So the, the skies are very clear, uh, blue skies uh, throughout the year. And uh, we have a world-class beaches around. Uh, and of course, uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, theme parks and uh, uh, tourist attractions also around, you know, Orlando is not too far uh, from Tampa. Uh, and, uh, you know, you have the Disney Worlds and the Sea Worlds and Universal Studios. So we have a lot of stuff in, going on in this area. Now, about USF, USF has about uh, 50,000 students. Uh, it's a system of three universities. Uh, USF Tampa is the uh, is the is the is the uh, main uh, is the main campus, and then we have two regional campuses at Sarasota and Saint Pete, and we have uh, about forty two thousand students on the Tampa campus, and about eight uh, divided uh, between Saint Pete and uh, uh, and uh, and uh, Sarasota campus. Uh, as, as you can see, I have uh, mentioned that USF is a global research university. So what does that mean? First of all, we uh, really embrace international students. Uh, we have about 5,000 international students. Uh, so uh, you will really find uh, USF uh, to be very 
uh, open to uh, diverse ideas uh, and you'll see uh, a diverse student population. You have uh, students from all over the world. Uh, in fact, uh, Indian students uh, are in very large numbers at USF. Um, and it is a research university. What it means is the focus of uh, the main um, thrust of the university is to do is to create knowledge and, and then create knowledge and then disseminate that knowledge created. So let me try to differentiate between a research university and a teaching university. It is something like this. So uh, if you consider uh, India, uh, take the case of India, the IITs uh, could be considered a research university where professors are engaged in research. Uh, they create knowledge. Uh, they advance the boundaries of the discipline. And uh, on the other hand, if you take a, a, a degree college uh, in India, uh, that is, is more like a teaching university where professors main a job is to teach. Uh, so what are the benefits of a research university? Let me just share that briefly with you. Because professors create new knowledge, because uh, they are all world-class scholars, they bring to bear the latest that's going on the field uh, to the classroom. So it's a very uh, uh, invigorating environment where students uh, learn a lot about the latest that's happening in the field. Uh, and uh, it spurs a lot of intellectual curiosity in the classroom. The environment is very stimulating. So that those are the benefits of, of studying in a research university. So some points of pride about USF. Uh, USF is ranked among the top 25 public universities in the nation in terms of research expenditures. One of the metrics that is used uh, to rank universities is research expenditures. That is how much money does the university spend on research? And these funds are actually obtained from uh, different sources like the National Science Foundation, uh, the National Institutes of Health, as well as from companies. So what it does is the universities that get that have more research funding, uh, they are, are basically doing cutting edge, cutting edge research uh, that is relevant uh, to funding agencies. So what it means is that whatever we do uh, is very relevant to, to companies, uh, to uh, businesses, uh, to, uh, to, uh, 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 to organizations that want to advance science and technology. So, uh, and uh, we are also uh, one of the uh, uh, top uh, universities in the United States and in the world uh, for uh, U.S. patents. Uh, in fact, we are fifth in the nation uh, for U.S. patents. Uh, uh, in, in the last year, actually, 2017 is when we have the last data. So what it means is that we create a lot of intellectual property here. Professors are involved uh, in, in, in creating a lot of intellectual property that can be commercialized. Uh, and so it's a very um, uh, stimulating and entrepreneurial environment where actually students get to, to study. We are also uh, one of uh, the top producers of AAAS fellows, which is a very prestigious fellowship. Uh, and so we typically rank uh, in the fourth or fifth in the United States uh, for the number of AAAS fellows. Uh, uh, as of now, we have about 60 plus uh, AAAS fellows among our faculty that speaks uh, to the quality of our faculty members. The, uh, then we have some global rankings. So Times Higher Education World Ranking, uh, which is one of the most authoritative source for, uh, for rankings uh, universities worldwide, uh, places us in the top 300 uh, uh, universities in the world. Uh, just to put things in the proper perspective, uh, the IITs uh, uh, and ISC uh, 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 Bangalore, the Indian Institute of Science Bangalore, are uh, some of them are ranked in top 300. Uh, probably Indian Institute of Science is ranked in the top 300, and maybe one or two IITs are ranked in the top 300 from India. So, so you can see uh, 
you know, where USF ranks uh, in comparison to some of the best institutions in, in, the, in, in India. Uh, then there's another ranking, which is the academic ranking of world universities that also places us in the top 300 world universities. And we are also a top producer of Fulbright scholars, uh, and we usually rank uh, fourth or fifth in the nation in the United States uh, for the number of Fulbright scholars that we produce. So before I get into the Muma College of Business, I, I just want to share with you uh, uh, the uh, information on various colleges we have at USF. Uh, as I said, USF is a fairly large, fairly large university. We have a very large medical school. We have College of Public Health. Uh, we have a College of Nursing. We have a College of, uh, of Pharmacy. Uh, we have a College of Engineering. Uh, we have a College of Arts and Sciences. Uh, we have a College on Sustainability. Uh, we have a separate College on Marine Sciences. So we have uh, pretty much uh, all the colleges that uh, most of the professional colleges that you'll find uh, in the United States and at a large university. What we do not have uh, is, the is the law school and college of dentistry. Those are the two professional schools that we don't have. So the Muma College of Business is one, one such college at USF. We have about 6,000 students, out of which about 1,400 are master's and doctoral students. The remaining are undergraduate students. At the undergraduate level, uh, we have uh, majors in almost all business disciplines, you know, accounting, finance, management, marketing, information systems, analytics, international business, advertising, et cetera. At the uh, master's level, we have seven specialty masters. Uh, they are uh, masters in management, masters in marketing, uh, masters in uh, entrepreneurship, masters in sports and entertainment management, uh, masters in finance, masters in accountancy, and masters in uh, business analytics and information systems. Uh, in addition, we have uh, three different MBA programs. We have a, a professional MBA program, which is a face-to-face -face program. We have an online MBA program, and we also have uh, 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 an executive MBA program as well. And uh, we offer a professional doctorate program in business for senior uh, C-suite level business executives. And we also have a regular academic doctorate program as well. So some uh, points of pride for the Muma College of Business. So we are uh, ranked number two in Florida. Uh, uh, for a uh, part-time MBA program, which is our face-to-face -face MBA program. The Entrepreneurship Magazine ranks our graduate program in entrepreneurship as number 12th in the nation. Uh, we usually rank uh, between 10th, uh, 10, 11, 12, 13. In, uh, we keep going back and forth. Uh, so for many years, we have been highly ranked uh, uh, for our entrepreneurship program. Uh, we are number one in the nation for accounting information systems field. Uh, and uh, the Business Week ranked our undergraduate uh, information systems and uh, analytics program as, as number 25 in the nation. And uh, more recently, uh, our Masters in Sports and Entertainment Management was ranked number fourth in the world uh, by the Bis Sport Business International, which is a very authoritative source for ranking sports program in the world. So I'll talk a little bit about various programs that we have. A first program is the MBA program, and we have some concentration areas like supply chain management, sport entertainment management, and, and we have also have some uh, graduate certificate options uh, that are embedded in the MBA program. So we have a certificate in analytics, we have a certificate in, in compliance risk management. Uh, we have a certificate in cybersecurity. So we have a bunch of certificates also that are embedded in the program. Uh, and they can also be taken standalone. Uh, uh, we, uh, for the online program, we offer three concentrations. Uh, one is compliance, risk, risk management, and anti-money laundering, uh, a concentration in cybersecurity, and a concentration in data analytics. So these are some of the concentrations that we have 
uh, for our online MBA program. Now, our MBA program typically is about uh, uh, 33, uh, 32 to 33 credit hours. Uh, and uh, if students do not have a background in business, if they have not done prior coursework in, in business foundations, then they have to do additional 16 hours of business foundation courses. So somebody who has an undergraduate degree in business, uh, they don't have to uh, do the foundation courses as long as they have earned a decent grade uh, at the undergraduate level. And, and those courses have been taken within the last seven years. So, the, uh, so that's our MBA program at a, at a very high level. Uh, then we have a Master's of Science program in management. And uh, uh, this, this program has three concentration areas. One is project management. Uh, the other one is human resources management. And the third one is, uh, is, uh, is MIS. It's actually MIS light uh, because we prepare students uh, to, to be the interface between uh, business and technology. So we don't get deep into technology uh, in, in the Master of Science uh, MIS concentration. Uh, if somebody is interested in getting deeper knowledge in technology, then we would recommend our Master's in Business Analytics and Information Systems program, which goes much deeper in technology. Then we have a Master of Science in Marketing. Uh, and this is a, a 30 credit hour program, and it prepares students for uh, specialized roles in marketing. So most of the courses are in marketing and we have really uh, uh, very current courses in digital marketing and marketing analytics and brand management. Uh, and so if somebody is just focused, wants to focus uh, in the area of marketing and wants to get a degree within a year, uh, 30 credits, uh, this is an option available for them. Uh, then we have a Master's of Science in Finance. Finance. This is also a very specialized degree, uh, about 30 credit hours or so. And uh, all the courses related to finance and uh, students can just uh, come to USF, spend a year, uh, get courses in finance and then find positions in uh, multiple industries. So we prepare students for careers in uh, corporate finance, for careers in banking and uh, uh, financial institutions and for careers in uh, in uh, in uh, in uh, financial advising roles. Uh, there's a lot of shortage for financial advisors in the United States. Uh, so we, we also prepare students for the roles in that space as well. Then we have a master's in entrepreneurship program, which is, uh, as I said, as a highly ranked program ranks uh, uh, in the top uh, 14 or 15 programs in the United States uh, has ranked consistently in, in the top 14 or 15 programs. And what is interesting about this program uh, is that uh, students are exposed to courses uh, in multiple areas. So it's truly an interdisciplinary program where students can take courses in engineering, can take courses in health sciences and business. So students, when they join the program, uh, uh, they are uh, uh, not only exposed to different areas based on their interests, uh, and they have to, as part of this program, they create a business plan. And we have some supporting infrastructure to help students succeed as an entrepreneur. We have a student incubator, so students can launch their startups uh, at the student incubator, which is also within the university. And we have great connections uh, to investors, to mentors, uh, and and so students can really thrive as an entrepreneur. Uh, they they are well prepared to be an entrepreneur uh, if they join this program. In fact, we have very close ties with Thai. Uh, Thai is a global uh, entrepreneurship organization with roots in Silicon Valley. It's called the Indus Entrepreneur, and uh, all the Thai events in the Tampa Bay area are actually held at USF. And so we have very close ties to Thai, uh, and, and this program plays a key role in, in that. And then, of course, the Business Analytics and Information Systems program is, uh, is uh, by far the most popular program for Indian students. Uh, we get many, many Indian students uh, in this program. So it's a 33 credit hour program, 
And what you see uh, are some core courses that are listed, uh, 12 uh, credits of technical courses. And you can see that uh, the analytics method for business. So there's an analytics course in the core. And then we have electives. Uh, and students have to take about 18 credit hours of electives. And we really are uh, uh, top notch in the area of analytics. Now, we started teaching analytics uh, over 10 years back when nobody heard of, uh, not many people heard of analytics at that time. It was not that popular at that time. So we started our analytics journey many, many, many years back. Uh, our faculty is really top notch. Uh, the person who heads, uh, who leads our analytics uh, effort, uh, Professor Balaji Padmanabhan actually uh, uh, started working in analytics area uh, many, many, many years back, he has a B.Tech com in computer science from IIT Madras. He got his Ph.D. from NYU. And uh, he also taught at the Wharton School for eight, nine years before joining USF. And we have, uh, similar to Dr. Padmanabhan, we have many other uh, faculty members with very strong in interest in analytics. Uh, just to give you a sense of the quality of faculty, uh, we have... Uh, uh, actually, uh, uh, let me count here, uh, uh, five faculty members uh, who are actually from IITs uh, in, uh, in, this, in this program, who support this program, uh, all under, uh, from uh, the three from IIT Kanpur, one from Madras, uh, one from Kharagpur, and actually one from Roorkee. So we have six IIT, IIT faculty members who support uh, uh, this program. Uh, and in terms of courses, you can see we have uh, data mining, statistical data mining, uh, data warehousing, uh, statistical programming for business analytics, uh, uh, you, big data for business applications, data science programming, uh, big data and e-commerce. And we also have courses in blockchain, which is just being introduced in the United States. We already have two courses, blockchain programming and blockchain fundamentals. So students who wish to, uh, uh, you know, major in analytics uh, or specialize in analytics, this would be a great program. Uh, students who do not wish to specialize in analytics, they can also uh, uh, plan to take this degree and basically then they will specialize in, uh, in, in MIS uh, and they can take courses uh, that will prepare them for a, a developer's role or or a project management role or a database administrator or a business analyst. So there are multiple pathways available to students who enroll in this program. And uh, in this master's in business analytics, we have a uh, SAS approved certificate in analytics and business intelligence, intelligence that is embedded in the program. So students take uh, four courses uh, from from the list that you see here and those courses meet the elective requirements for the master's program and they also meet the requirements for this certificate uh, that is uh, approved by SAS. SAS is one of the uh, top uh, vendors for statistical software and so students get a certificate as well <clears throat> and uh, I, again, I would stress that we perhaps have one of the strongest analytics concentration uh, uh, in the United States. <clears throat> we also have uh, some uh, uh, support for students uh, if they plan for any professional certifications. So <clears throat> we have funds available from private sources to reimburse students for, for, the, for the fees, uh, the, the exam fees they pay for uh, for professional certifications and and we do that to encourage students uh, to take professional certifications while they are at USF so some of the and these certification cost a lot of money and so uh, by by reimbursing students for the uh, certifications cost uh, we kind of uh, uh, make it affordable for students to to, uh, to, to to get one of the professional certifications. So you see a list of all these uh, certifications that we have uh, supported in the past. Uh, and so right from AWS uh, to uh, 
human resources management certification to uh, Cloudera and to Hadoop. So you have a whole bunch of certifications that we have supported in the past. And we have a global unique business partnership. We have a unique uh, in particular with Infosys. Uh, Infosys has uh, uh, supported uh, USF uh, uh, in terms of hosting our students uh, on their Mysore campus for a study abroad program. So for eight years in a row, uh, our students have gone to Mysore campus of Infosys where they have taken a course on software engineering taught by Infosys instructors and uh, we could give academic credit. Uh, Infosys le uh, leaders visit us on a regular basis. Uh, Mr. Murthy himself has visited uh, Tampa USF multiple times and he's a great friend of the college. Now, uh, the outcomes from the BAIS program, the placement results, uh, we almost have 100% placement uh, based on the survey data that we have received. Uh, of all those who have responded in the last cycle, uh, the base, si uh, base salary has been as high as $135,000 plus sign up bonuses, stock options and benefits. In fact, uh, this is slightly dated. Uh, uh, so, so with this stock options, bonuses, benefits, uh, the, the, the student's uh, compensation is over 200K. And we have another student very recently uh, with AWS who got a job with uh, Amazon uh, in the AWS unit, whose, whose uh, compensation is also over 200K. A uh, mean uh, base salary is, of course, around $75,000. Now, I do want to mention that places like California and New York are extreme, are very expensive. So the salaries are higher. Uh, there's, uh, they have uh, uh, state income tax, which is very high. Uh, the cost of living is very high, whereas uh, students who choose to live in Florida, they do not pay any state income tax. We do not have state income tax. The cost of living is low. And therefore, in comparison to California, the salaries uh, are on the lower side because the cost of living is low. And that's why you see the base uh, salary, uh, mean salary around $75,000. So some of the recent placements uh, full time, you can see the who's who of, of, uh, uh, of, of major companies in the United States from Adobe to Google to Walmart Labs to Amazon, Twitter, uh, Visa, all the, all the brand name companies you can see have, have recruited our students. Um, and I'll see this is a second slide. Uh, Citigroup has a big presence uh, here in Tampa. Uh, they recruit uh, quite a few of our students. Uh, uh, Deloitte has a very big presence in Orlando, and they recruit lots of our students uh, in, uh, for their uh, Orlando operations. Uh, and of course, Jabil is a very large company uh, based out of Tampa area, and they recruit quite a few. Uh, Amgen has also a big presence in Tampa. Raymond James headquarters is in Tampa. They recruit a lot of our students. And summer internship data for last year, you can see some of the companies here who have uh, recruited our students. Uh, they're all over uh, the United States uh, from, uh, you know, from uh, from the West Coast companies to uh, East Coast companies uh, in various sectors. Uh, they have all provided internships uh, to our students. Uh, I just want to share one example. Uh, uh, my TA, uh, my former TA, uh, he did a summer internship at Deloitte. Uh, he was based out of Chicago and uh, he was able to successfully convert uh, his internship to a full time position at Deloitte. So he's he's going to be starting at uh, Deloitte uh, from the and it'll be based in the San Francisco office. Now, we understand that just merely providing uh, a formal uh, course courses to students is not adequate. We need to supplement that with uh, student success activities, with co-curricular activities and support systems so that we develop the student as a whole uh, so that they can compete in the marketplace for, for, for jobs. 
So we do a lot of competitions uh, to pre prepare students to uh, to to uh, for uh, for various competitions. Uh, we have business case competitions, application design competitions, uh, etc. Uh, we do uh, student uh, speed dating, uh, where uh, students from the junior batch actually uh, have in, uh, have uh, short uh, conversations uh, with junior uh, with uh, with uh, students of the senior batch who just uh, completed their internship and learn about some of the tips. Uh, for getting internships in the organizations that they had been uh, successful at. Uh, we want to make sure that our students are, have, uh, are, are, have a professional uh, presence uh, on the internet. So we do photo shoots that are very professionally done. And so uh, the profile of the students on the internet appears very uh, professional. Uh, we have students driven International students reception, where our students actually uh, receive incoming students so that they feel at home. Uh, we do mock interviews uh, where we actually have uh, HR professionals uh, from uh, companies conducting mock interviews to prepare students for uh, for real interviews. Uh, we do resume workshops where uh, even HR professionals again help us uh, help students with. Uh, uh, with with uh, packaging uh, their their uh, credentials in a way that is attractive uh, to companies. Uh, these days, what happens is uh, a lot of these recruitment is automated, whereby students submit uh, their resumes online, and then a computer basically does the initial sorting based on keywords. So it's very important to make sure that uh, the resumes are. Uh, well written with the right keywords, uh, and so we help students in 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 getting that done. And then we have a lot of boot camps. Now, uh, we 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 tend to be uh, software agnostic as far as the formal courseware is concerned. Uh, we don't want our courses to focus on just one software because the software uh, companies. Uh, uh, because things change we want students to be able to work with different softwares but in uh, for but when we uh, uh, look at the position announcements from companies they'll want five years experience in uh, oracle or uh, uh, 10 years experience in something else so in order for students to compete for these jobs which are very software specific uh, we also have weekend boot camps where uh, we teach students uh, some of the we impart skills uh, software skills to these students so we have done boot camps on on uh, on uh, sas we have done boot camps on uh, sharepoint uh, we have done boot camps on some of the uh, uh, other software as well uh, and then we of course we have speaker series uh, where we get uh, speakers from the industry especially senior executives uh, and so this provides students uh, with some networking opportunities as well. And then we have a unique program called the Practice Center. And uh, what we do is we get projects from companies uh, and we uh, hire students to work on these projects. Uh, and, uh, uh, and then students uh, get paid for these projects. Uh, so it's a win 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 for everyone it's a win for the company because uh, in a traditional internship what happens is all the resumes go to the company and the companies then have to figure out whom to hire in this case uh, companies are the clients of usf and therefore and the students are the employees of usf so the faculty members get involved in in identifying the right students by leveraging private information so we find the best students for for a particular project uh, uh, for a company. So the search cost for companies is greatly reduced because we do all the work in finding the best students. So that's one benefit to the sponsoring company. The second benefit is they have 16 weeks to test drive these students to see how they perform uh, before they make a full-time uh, employment offer. And uh, number three is, uh, is that they get deliverable. And many of the, the outputs from these practice center projects 
ha have actually gone into production, uh, have been deployed in companies. And uh, uh, so that's the benefit to a company. To students, uh, they get paid, number one. That's one benefit. Number two, uh, they have this experiential learning opportunity. And number three, they they kind of uh, uh, can be they are considered for full time employment at these companies. So so they have the chance to be considered. So these are the benefits to students and then uh, to uh, faculty. Uh, they also get paid a, a small amount and they are able to hone their practice skills by being the uh, project uh, uh, lead, uh, project supervisor uh, uh, for, for these projects. We have now, this is slightly dated data, but we are now close to 100 projects. And uh, we have done close to $1.5 million in revenue from, from, uh, from these uh, practice center projects. Over 200 students have benefit, uh, benefited from this practice center projects. So these are uh, some of the clients, uh, uh, companies uh, who have sponsored practice center project. Now, this is not an exhaustive list. Uh, again, just a sample. So you can see we have large corporations. We also have startups uh, who, are, who have sponsored uh, practice center projects. Now, we also have career fairs on campus. It's twice a year at the broader university level. And uh, and uh, so this is done at, at uh, so all colleges within the university can participate. And so we have, uh, again, big companies, they come, uh, they set up booths and they uh, like to meet with uh, students uh, interested in positions at these organizations and, and have short conversations with these students. So we have that. In addition, uh, at the college level, we have uh, networking events where companies come and uh, meet with our students as well. So, so that college level events is in addition to what we do at the broader institution level uh, through these uh, career fairs. So the cost of education. So it's uh, the I-20 amount is around $36,000, a little over $36,000. This is very, very uh, uh, inexpensive uh, compared to uh, other schools. Uh, and uh, you really get a lot of value for money at USF. Uh, in fact, uh, I have seen with the uh, depreciation in Indian rupee, uh, I'm seeing more and more students who have got uh, admissions at top-notch universities, Ivy League schools, others, are having second thoughts about uh, going to those universities uh, and have actually come to USF. Uh, instead, because they see the outcomes are similar. And so the question is, why pay uh, large amounts of, uh, of tuition dollars when uh, they can get more or less achieve the same outcome by coming to USF? And of course, they don't have to shovel snow here. They, they have, you know, have a much uh, uh, better life uh, and uh, at USF. Uh, so... Uh, as an example, a, a student uh, who had was admitted to Duke, uh, he came and uh, joined USF. So we have uh, cases like that happening all the time. So our tuition is very affordable uh, and you get a lot more value for money uh, at our institution. Now, financial support. So the... Uh, uh, Information Systems and Decision Sciences Department that houses the Business Analytics and Information Systems Program has about 20 GATA positions. About 10, about half of them open up, uh, will open up in fall 2019. And uh, students will be applying, uh, uh, will be asked to apply uh, uh, online, uh, those who are interested. And then a committee uh, would then look at the applications and make decisions. Uh, so a couple of things uh, that are important uh, for the for the, the the criteria for selecting TAs and GAs. A couple of things to keep in mind. Uh, first is communication skills is extremely important because especially for undergraduate TAs, uh, TAs who deal with undergraduate courses, uh, they have to 
uh, interact with uh, domestic uh, American students. And so it's very important that their English language skills be really good. Uh, we do not want to hear complaints from uh, domestic students that they, they are not able to understand uh, the TA. So we, we, are, we stress uh, communication skills a lot for TA positions that deal with undergraduate students. For graduate students, uh, uh, we don't stress that much the English skills because most of the graduate stu students are international. Uh, so we, we don't stress that much. Also, the fit is very important. So, for example, uh, when I was looking for a TA uh, for my course, I teach a course on SAP and business process uh, modeling. Uh, so I wanted someone who really uh, had good experience in SAP. So I hired someone who had four or five years experience in SAP uh, as my TA. Uh, and so the fit is also important. Uh, somebody, uh, uh, let's say, uh, is uh, in the case of statistics courses, for, as an example, uh, they would be looking for someone who has good background in statistics to be a TA. Uh, we also look at GRE scores uh, also when we select TAs. But so that so that the important uh, elements for selection are uh, communication skills, uh, fit with the courses, and then uh, GRE scores are also considered. In addition to the TA positions uh, within the department, uh, students also get GA TA positions or uh, GA positions uh, outside the department in various other colleges and units at USF. So for example, the IT department at USF uh, may be interested in uh, hiring students with particular programming skills. Uh, and so they offer GA positions or the provost office may be interested uh, in uh, having uh, GAs who have good background in analytics. Uh, so they may hire. So those opportunities also exist. Now, typically a GA TA position covers uh, the tuition and pays a stipend uh, to students. Then in addition to GATA positions, uh, we have campus jobs uh, that pay anywhere from 12 to $15 an hour. Uh, and students can work up to 20 hours a week on campus, uh, ranging from uh, the facilities department to food department. Uh, so again, there's many, many campus jobs available and they have to uh, to compete, even uh, they look for tutors as well for courses. Now, students can do internships uh, outside USF as long as they have spent two semesters uh, at USF. So somebody uh, who joins in fall 2019 is eligible to do internship outside the campus in the summer of 2020. That's a federal requirement. That's a requirement by the US government that they spend two semesters first in, the, in, in, in college. Only then they can go and do internships outside. And then they basically get a CPT uh, to do these internships. And then uh, there's practice center projects, uh, which uh, I already mentioned to you. So that's also a great opportunity for students uh, to, to not only pick up uh, practice skills, but also earn some money as well. Um, I would also like to mention uh, something here. So as of now, uh, of over 800 OPTs are held by uh, Indian students at USF uh, at, at the current time. That's the number I, I received. Over 800 students are on OPT at the present time currently. Uh, Indian students. So you can see that we really have a lot of students from India actually doing practical training. OPT is used once they graduate. Uh, OPT, the optional practical training is used. Uh, CPT is when they are still a student, then they do internship, then they have to apply for CPT. Uh, I also like to mention that the BAIS program is a STEM program, uh, which means students have three year practical training period. Uh, which is they get OPT uh, that will be good for three years. So that's another point to note. So the application. So for application for all these programs, uh, required GRE or GMAT, required TOEFL. 
uh, require most of the we require a four year degree in, in, in uh, but we are also now accepting a three year degree uh, for some programs like MBA, BAIS, finance management and marketing. Uh, so a three year degree from India is acceptable under certain conditions. The condition is one condition is that the transcript has to be evaluated by a third party and we have specific a third party uh, uh, that, that we have identified. Uh, and second, uh, the, their GMAT score has to be around 650 or higher uh, and uh, an equivalent GRE score, which is, I believe, around 321. So under those conditions, we are even uh, accepting uh, students from India with a three year degree. And of course, we require recommendation letters and that varies by programs. We require resume, CV with work experience details and a statement of purpose. Work experience is, uh, is always good to have because when students enter the job market, uh, if they have work experience, uh, that helps them uh, find an internship or a full time position. Uh, so it's always good to have work experience. And the deadline application deadline for fall 2019 is 1st June 2019. Uh, so please keep that in mind. Uh, so we are very India friendly. USF is very in India friendly. Uh, we get a lot of distinguished visitors from India. Uh, uh, we have a scholarship uh, or fellowship in honor of uh, in uh, in honor of uh, President Kalam, and that is given to an Indian student uh, who applies to a PhD program. So that uh, is the Kalam Fellowship that is available. Uh, as I said, Mr. Murthy is a great friend of the college and the university. He he has visited us a few times, and you'll wonder what the Bollywood stars are doing here at USF. Uh, USF Muma College was involved in hosting the. Uh, Fiki IFA Global Business Forum, uh, which was held when IFA was held in Tampa in nineteen uh, in in two thousand fourteen. So we also have Bollywood connections, uh, you know, at USF. Uh, student life: uh, is, is, uh, the Student of India Association is is uh, very active. Uh, we celebrate all festivals from. Holi to Diwali to Eid to everything. Uh, and so you can see here uh, the uh, students celebrating Holi. Uh, you can see a Bhangra night at USF. Then you see a Garba night at USF. And, uh, and uh, you see the cricket team here. So USF cricket team has been the national champion in the United States for a few, few times. And so cricket is very big here at USF. And then we have non-Indian cultural activities. Uh, so we have so many things uh, at, going on at USF. Uh, we have world-class gym facility. Uh, we have music concerts. We have a, a sports, sports event. Uh, so you name it. We have pretty much uh, everything here at USF. And that's because we are a very large university. So we, we kind of cater to different we are able to cater to different uh, student interests. And then, of course, Florida is known as the sunshine state. We have sunny skies uh, uh, most of the time during the year. Uh, we have great uh, beaches. Uh, in fact, the Clearwater Beach, uh, the, which is about an hour away, and many other beaches in the area have been ranked number one. Uh, beach in the United States. So we have really world-class beaches. We have the um, Cape Canaveral uh, uh, Center from where the sh shuttles have been previously launched, from where the man has gone to the moon that is only 100 miles away, uh, two hours away. We have the Sea World. We have the Bush Garden is only a mile away from USF campus. Uh, of course, the Disney World is also an hour, 15 minutes away. So there's a lot of stuff to do in Florida. And this is my contact information. This is my email. You can note it down. And should you have any questions, uh, feel free to contact me. So that's some social media links that we have here. Uh, and so that's basically the end of my formal pre uh, presentation. And now I'm open to uh, Q&A.